Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Beast, I'm YouTube, TikTok famous now. I'm YouTube and TikTok famous now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Available in 2020. Yeah, it's coming. Don't even worry about it. The album, Dad, AF. This one goes out to Sarah Louise. <clears throat> I've got a pocket full of pocket full of sunshine. I've got a love and I feel like it's all mine. <laughs> Have you guys seen that movie, The Easy A? Okay, I love that movie so much. And that whole like little montage where she does that song over and over and over again. I love that scene so much. But let me tell you something, okay? So Jess, the other day, commented on one of my videos, and she said that she thought that I should put a poll up on Instagram. <laughs> the poll, we all like a poll, don't we? That I should put a poll up on Instagram, and I should ask people um, what songs I should sing for my intro. So I put up, I didn't put a poll, I put up like a questionnaire. It was like a Census Bureau, basically. If you haven't seen my Census rant, I will link it from the Census Bureau people. They're coming back, okay? I'm gonna link it at the end of this video. Go check out my census rant. But anyway, uh, my census bureau rant. So I put up this questionnaire and I got hundreds and hundreds, you guys, of suggestions. So Sarah Louise recommended that I should sing the song, I got a pocket full of, pocket full of sunshine. <laughs> I've got a love and I feel like it's all mine. Anyway, so let's get into this video today. I actually have two topics to talk, talk about today. I have uh, Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> Emma, Cha Emma, Ch Emma Chamberlain. Uh, uh, Emma Chamberlain, stand up, please. I have an Emma Chamberlain uh, drama video to do, which is crazy. I think I've only ever made one other video about Emma Chamberlain, and it was in conjunction. <laughs> it was conjunction, junction, what's your function? And it was in talk. God, that sounded good. I should be on Broadway. Um, and it was in t her. It was in talking about her with the Dolan twins. Something to do with them. I don't even remember what it was about now. But anyway, I think that's the only other drama video that I've ever made about Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain kind of stays out of drama a little bit, you know. And then the other drama video that I have to make is about Shane Dawson. So depending on how long this goes, um, I will put them all in one, or I will do a two for Monday. So you'll just have to wait and see. It'll it'll depend on how long this video goes. Because I know, I know, drama class gets long sometimes and y'all need a break between class. So anyway, let's get into this video first about Emma Chamberlain. Now, if you don't know who Emma Chamberlain is, let me read you her Wikipedia page. I need a Wikipedia page, okay? Emma Cha Emma Francis. Francis? Emma Francis? Get y'all! Uh, your mama needs some sweet tea, Emma Francis! Okay, Emma Francis, she was born on May 22nd of 2001. <laughs> That was after my 10 year reunion, by the way. My 30 year reunion is coming up this summer. Is an American YouTuber. She won the 2018 Streaming Award for Breakout Creator in April 2019. She launched a weekly podcast, Stupid Genius. Um, in, oh, that was in April 2019. Um, in July 2019, Time Magazine included her on its fifth annual list of the 25 most influential people on the internet, writing that Chamberlain pioneered an approach to blogging that shook up YouTube's unofficial style guide. She lives in Los Angeles. Let me tell you about a, an unorthodox way of vlogging, okay? How about you get in a car every single day and you vlog for over an hour, almost every single day for uh, going on four years now? That's me, Peter Vlogs. That's my other channel. That's one of my other channels. Do you think I get any kind of award for that? No, <laughs> okay? I get a bunch of complaining. No, I love the people that watch there's like hairs hanging off my face and this hat and everything. Um, I did just shave around here and trim my beard. So if you spot some shaving cream, get over it. I tried to look nice for everybody. Okay, so anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm not getting any award. What's her, her authentic way of vlogging? I've seen her vlogs, okay? They're just okay. I know the kids love Emma Chamberlain. And the reason why the kids love Emma Chamberlain is because Emma Chamberlain was just this normal girl sitting in her, you know, parents' house, blah, 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 whatever. And then she got a lot of attention, a lot of fame, and then she blew up and she became this super YouTuber of the world. It's very similar to what happened to Tana Mojo, okay? Although I would say at 18, Emma Chamberlain has kind of held on to, not all, not all, I will say, okay? But the majority of her innocence, she just seems like, if you watch her videos, like an 18-year-old girl that kind of goes on about her business. I've watched her from time to time. She's whatever to me, okay? Like, I know the kids love her, but she's just not my cup of tea or my cup of coffee, which is what we're going to talk about. But I understand why people love, I like her, love her at that age. I really understand it, right? Okay. So anyway, um, I got this message. Let me make sure that I, it's, this goes out to Brittany. 
Britney! Oh, what is going on with Britney Spears? It is so sad, isn't it? I can't even go there right now. I gotta go, oh, oh, oh. Did you know, y'all can call me the old man of YouTube, but did you dance on stage with Britney Spears? I danced on stage with Britney Spears when I was 39 years old, too. I, I, I wanna go, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so anyway, if you watch my vlog, you would know that. So anyway, Britney sent me this situation that is going on that I was completely unaware of. Now, she did say in there that she was confused as to why everybody is talking about the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson merch not being shipped and the products not being shipped on time, this huge shipping issue, um, and she wondered why nobody was covering this situation with Emma Chamberlain. I'll tell you why, because I didn't know. I had no idea. So thank you, Brittany, for sending this bit of tea to me. Um, when people send me stuff, it is always really, really helpful. So anyway, so she sent me this situation that is apparently going on that Emma Chamberlain came out with this cup of coffee. <laughs> cup of coffee. She came out with coffee, okay? So her coffee is called Chamberlain Coffee. Now, if you go to the website, it has on here. If you can go to her Instagram. We're going to talk about the Instagram in just a second. Um, it's called Chamberlain Coffee. And if you go underneath here, it says, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm going to read it to you, okay? I've always been obsessed with coffee. Hold on a second, please. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Nobody's asking me to come up with coffee. Uh, I've always been obsessed with coffee. Since I was probably too young to be drinking coffee, the problem is I've never found a way to make coffee at home while traveling that was delicious, eco-friendly, and easy. I'm sick of dealing with machines, pods, or extra plastic packaging crap. It's such a waste, and the flavor isn't great. Which is why I'm beyond excited to introduce my new favorite way to make coffee, my innovative Chamberlain steeped coffee bags. Now, let me just tell you, okay, as somebody that drinks a lot of coffee, goes into a lot of coffee shops, local and otherwise, in coffee shops around the world. This is not a new concept, Emma, okay? Now, I know that maybe you're new to the game, okay? Being that you just want to stream me two years ago. But I'm telling you, okay, coffee that comes in a bag like tea is not a new concept. It's been a while, it's been around, it's been a while and around, okay? It's been around for a while. Uh, filled with 100% special, specialty coffee, my bags are crafted for maximum, maximum quality, freshness, and convenience. Convenient being that if you get it, you can use it. If you don't get it, I guess it's not convenient. Every steeped bag is a nitro sealed inside packaging made from com com compostable and renewable materials. Its versatility allows you to make delicious hot coffee or my favorite, cold brew. <laughs> my favorite too, see? Basically, Emma Chamberlain and I are the same person. Don't you see the similarities? It's right here, okay. I hope you love it, Emma. So you can buy her Chamberlain steeped coffee bags, a five pack for $10, okay? Or she then says, my single serve steeped coffee bags are filled with, oh, it goes in here and says all this. Or you can buy her travel mug, uh, does it have, which is sold out currently. Or you can buy her travel mug and 10 pack bundle, which is sold out. Or you can buy her coffee mug and 10 pack bundle, which has Chamberlain coffee on the side of it and little lips and all this kind of stuff. And it's $35. Okay. Now, I honestly think that that's not too expensive. I swear to God, there are truly hairs all over this. I haven't even gotten to lipsticks this year. Okay. I truly think that that's expensive for a 16 year old, but like, it's not too expensive. I mean, you get a travel mug, you get a mug. I mean, the travel mug is really nice um, and it's sold out. So I don't know how much that was. But the glass mug is $35 here. I'll throw up some pictures right here. This is what the, uh, here, let me screenshot it so I don't forget to do that. <laughs> okay, you know how I forget to include receipts in my videos. So there is the, what the coffee looks like, and then there is what the travel mug looks like. It looks like a, like a, a medium-sized grande, though. It doesn't look like, and then there's what the glass mug looks like. So the glass mug and 10-pack bundle is $35. So if you divided that, if you took, let's say, $5 off of the mug, then it's $3 for a coffee. Like, I don't think that's, that's kind of steep, but <laughs> that's kind of expensive. It really is. But the kids have to have it. The kids have to have it. Well, let me tell you, this is, we're going to just do this, the Shane Dawson video in another video. So let me tell you what happened, okay? So people aren't getting their orders. This is a huge deal, right? And everybody's coming for it. So if you go underneath her last post or Chamberlain Coffee's last post, which if you go into uh, Chamberlain Coffee, it says Chamberlain Coffee, coffee shop, uh, buy at Emma Chamberlain, www, for those old people out there, dot chamberlaincoffee.com, and it's followed by Shane Dawson and, and Casey Neistat, but those are the only two people that I follow, probably tons of people follow it, and it has 140, 24,000 followers, and she is following four people, 
<laughs> and she's I, uh, steeped coffee, Bixby coffee, which I'm sure have something to do with all this, Emma Chamberlain, and Miles Fisher. Who's that? I don't even know who that is. Should I know who that is? Is that somebody famous? <laughs> what? Hello? I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Hi, Miles, whoever you are. I don't know who that is. So if you go underneath the last picture, which was posted on January 4th, okay, they have not posted anything on Chamberlain Coffee in weeks, right? It has 249 comments underneath here. Let's go underneath here. Now, I'm going to go up here um, and just, I'm going to just start reading uh, through the comments, okay? So, if you go up at the beginning, it's like, oh my god, I'm so excited about this, I'm so excited about this, I'm so excited about this. Um, then if you get down here, it says, um, hold on, where's my coffee I ordered before Christmas? And somebody at, added this at Emma Chamberlain. My order has been stuck in pre-shipment uh, for December 24th. And then there's all these things. People are saying, same, Emma Chamberlain, get it together. Somebody said, just got it finally. Somebody said, so it took like three weeks. I ordered January 16th, got a shipping confirmation that same day, and it's still in the pre-shipment phase. Somebody said, way too much money. You couldn't even pay me to taste this overpriced crap. Oh my Lord, even if it's the best coffee ever, I will never be caught dead paying this price for coffee. So somebody said, I ordered mine December 23rd. My payment was taken from my PayPal at that time. I can't find an email to track my order and can't find a way to do so on the site. Does anyone know how to track the order? Uh, 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 track the offer if you can't locate the email. And so then it says, my, uh, me, places order on December 24th. Coffee, still nowhere to be found. Um, and then it goes on and on and on and on. I ordered my coffee the day Emma launched it and I still haven't received it. I paid $50 for the coffee and travel mug and I have sent, so I guess the coffee and travel mug was $50. I have sent three emails and sent a message to this account and still have not heard back. Somebody said, same, wondering if I can cancel my order. I ordered the 24th, said they sold out of the bundle and should have that ordered shipment before today and I haven't heard anything, kind of upset. Upsetting that they take the money but they don't update. Um, stop posting stories of everyone getting their coffee when there are multiple people, including me, that was promised it would be shipped by January 13th, and I haven't, and it hadn't. I ordered my coffee and travel mug seconds after the video came out, so not quite sure why I haven't received an email back to inform me why I haven't gotten it yet. Somebody said, I love Emma Chamberlain, don't get me wrong, and I was so happy to support her, as well as my caffeine addiction and shopping addiction, but... Let's talk about customer service for a second. I have sent so many emails. I've sent many emails about the fact that I completed my purchase on 1222 of the travel mug and coffee set. I received an email that said it would be sent soon and should have it in a couple days. Then 1222. 30, I received an email saying it would be sent by 113 because stock ran out and I would get an update email with shipping information. It's 115 and nothing. Yet this whole time it has remained showing in stock on the site. I have not had any responses to my emails. Okay, and this just goes on and on and on. Never received my order safely. It says it's still in Los Angeles. I've messaged Ember Chamberlain and Chamberlain Coffee and I've tweeted Ember Chamberlain and I have gotten no response. I mean, literally, you guys, it's just one comment after another. I placed an order on the 24th and it still hasn't shipped. I got an email saying it would ship before January 13th and still nothing. Where's my coffee? It says it's been in pre-shipment for four days. I ordered my coffee and travel mug on 12:22 and still haven't received them. Cannot get a response from anyone through DMs or through customer service emails or emails. Please make uh, some organic uh, Chamberlain coffee. There you go. Okay. Um, how is there a sale today when 100% uh, of us haven't even gotten our, haven't gotten our order from December 24th. Uh, it's about to be a month that I ordered my travel mug bundle and still haven't received it. Hi again. Send me my order, please. So a lot of people are really, really upset about this. I thought we'll just go over to see uh, what Emma Chamberlain's doing. Apparently, I'm sure she's very, very upset today about the fact that her people, her fans that have supported her and got her to the point where she won an award and listened to her podcast and allowed her to come out with such expensive merch. She's probably very, very upset today. Um, so let's see what's going on. Um, well, let's see if she, she's on her Instagram story. Okay. Well, last night she was watching the Super Bowl. So, Oh, okay. So she's watching the Super Bowl, still watching the Super Bowl with her friends. She's doing a little dance in front of there. Okay, and then she, she's real upset about this, isn't she? She's like, girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're so upset about your fans. This is where I have an issue with these influencers. They want to call themselves influencers, right? Because they influence people to buy their stuff. Now, I have been asked many, many times recently why I have an issue with the word influencer. This is a prime example, okay? You use your influence to get people to put money in your pocket 
to be able to throw a fun Super Bowl party with your friends, but you don't seem to care about the people that you've influenced, okay? And it's not me with the evidence. It's your fans who bought your coffee, because I didn't buy any of that swamp ass coffee. I don't know nothing about it, okay? I got my coffee. I rely on Starbucks. I drive through, they have my coffee, okay? And if they don't, I just go to the next Starbucks. It's really not that deep, okay? But for all of those fans out there that have put money in her pocket, that's crap, okay? She should be out there trying to figure out how to get her orders through. I don't care if it's Super Bowl Sunday and I don't care if it's Palm, Fr Palm Sunday. I don't think, care if it's Good Friday or Monday, Thursday. I don't care what religious holiday of the year it is and I sure as hell don't care if it's Super Bowl Sunday, touchdown, okay? Make this right, put something out. At least put out a statement, and if she has, I couldn't find it. At least put out a statement and say, you guys, I am so sorry that people are not getting my orders for the coffee, but we will have this rectified soon. I will have an answer to, listen, listen. We have done this with, okay. We've done this with the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. We've done this with the Jeffree Star mystery boxes, which he cleared up, you know, pretty soon afterwards. We've done this with the Shane merch. We've done this with everything in the last year. Have we not learned from this? Have we not learned how to be good customer service boys and girls, okay? It doesn't take a lot. It's called good communication, okay? You get you a, you get you a good communication handbook up at the bookstore, and it says, word one, be transparent, okay? Be transparent! You want people to continue to buy from me because I can tell you right now, nobody's going to buy this coffee in the future. They're just not. So anyway, I'm so tired of these influencers wanting people to buy their products and they talk about their products and they talk about their products. I'm so excited about my product. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about that. And then there's no follow through. None whatsoever, right? You know? But there were people in 2019 that successfully put things out and people were really, really happy about, you know? I haven't heard anything, and y'all can come for me, but let's just, if we're going to talk about the people that didn't get their shipping and handling in order, let's talk about the fact that Manny MUA, his mystery boxes, which people just went on and on and on and said his mystery boxes were fantastic, which by the way, I do have a video coming about Manny MUA and Laura Lee because they exposed themselves. <laughs> Woo, that one's coming this week. But Manny's boxes, I didn't hear any complaints about that. James Charles Apparel, since he's gone on his own, I've never heard any complaints about all that. You know, I mean, what's the problem here? So I don't understand why we can't get on top of this customer service thing. I, I really don't understand it, you know? So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You know, it's not about who your favorite influencer is or isn't. It's about, like, why can't they just do things the right way for their fans, okay? You're an influencer. You're able to sell these high-priced products, and you're able to make money off of them because your fans love you. Treat your fans right, you know? I say this all the time. There would be no YouTube without you. Not us, okay? We're a dime a dozen over here. Look at how many YouTubers there are. It's you guys. It's how you choose to spend your time. I say this in my Peterisms videos all the time. There are only so many hours, so many minutes, so many seconds a day. How we choose to spend that is up to us when we wake up every day. Thank God there are people out there that choose to spend their seconds, minutes, and hours with me every single day. I think that's beyond gracious, right? So when I see YouTubers and influencers taking advantage of that, I have a huge issue with that. Okay, I have a huge, huge issue with that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you in my next video about Shane Dawson. Two for today. Bye.